Yeah. What do you press? Yeah, just OK and enter. Uh, network surface. Oh. So now we have a surface. What I'm going to create is a baseline. So let's say the surface is underneath this one. So how do you make the surface again? I have all the points. Select, select all the points. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then network, and then network surface. Where's network surface? Just type okay. network. And it also that's network surface in surface. Uh, there's no network surface here. So just simply type network surface. And then I just create any four just simple very simple rectangular surface plane. And I will using move, I will locate somewhere higher point where this one is basically work as your ceiling. And what I'm going to do is, I will create a line, which is from poly line. Are you still recording? Excuse me, yeah, recording, yes. Recording? yes. So I'll create simply a line from one point on a surface, and then I will make a something long, longer line that go through, go through above the surface, Using shift to draw a straight line. So this is just the line tool? Yes, yeah, it's just the line using this one, this tool. Okay. So basically, this is your wire. And I'm simply, so, and then actually, you can simply copy this wire using copy. And then actually, you can place this one anywhere you want. So let's say you see you can see the okay I will drag in by using copy. So I what I would do is let's say this one is your one of five by five module. I simply copy this line. Where do you want to contact the module and the surface? Let's say this one is your fish, and here is the ceiling. I simply connect maybe four of them. And just so far now, I will just simply use array to generate a lot of curves. Uh, actually, I'll move this one to, instead of using this, I'll use the lower left corner here. So I simply draw here and draw a long line like this. And I will populate a lot of curves using array. For your case, you can just simply copy all these curves where the, the module needed. So x direction, let's say this 72 and 36, g direction 1, and x spacing is just, now I'm just saying 1 inch for both x and y, and then this one create a lot of lines. So what you are going to do is actually you are going to split these curves. So first of all, we want we need to uh, split the t we want we need to remove the top part. So I'm using oh I was okay again. Okay. So array type I array. Uh, before select the curve first and type array later. You can reverse the order. You can type array first and select the geometry later. And then it will ask you to, what is the number in X? I type 72, enter. Number in Y direction, 32. G direction, I will not copy in G direction, so I will just type 1 only. So 1 or just enter. The unit cell, which is X spacing, I type, let's just 2, there are too many. So, so every 2 inches, it will create the lines. And then Y spacing 2. And then it will populate. And then make sure that press enter to finalize it. So I press enter. Then you have a lot of lines here. And, uh, and then deselect it. Then I will split the curves where unnecessary. So I'll type split. 
I type split and enter, it asks you to select object to split, which is our wires. So I'm using the right to left to drag to select all curves and then enter. So I'm finishing object to split. And then it will ask you to select cutting object, which is our this plane, which will work as our top ceiling part. And select it and enter. Then actually about 1,600 curves split into 3,200. And I would select only the top part. Do you know what this means? This one is long line. This one was not cut because outside the, the outside of the plane. And I delete that. So I have, I cleaned up. And then I will repeat it again. Split to cut this lower part unnecessary curves. So I will repeat again. Split, enter. Select object to split or curves. So I select only the curves and enter. Select cutting object is actually our surface. And then I will select surface, not the curve. So uh, make sure that you select the right one when the Rhino gives you an option. So I select surface and enter. So this one is all split. It. So let's just see how does it look like. So before that, we don't need uh, this kind of curves. We don't need this one, so I delete them. Also, we don't need these curves, so delete that. So let's select this part, the top part, and I hide it. And actually, there is a curve on the or upper part. We don't need these curves. So I just simply delete all these curves, actually. And I will show our or my original curves. Then we have all bearing curves, which is actually precisely locating your curves on the surface. So this is the curve you need to. And then for each curve, you can simply measure the length of it. Type length. And then this one is 47 millimeter. So what do you want to do? You need to change unit. So for each curve, now you know that the precise distance. So you can just simply cut it, and then if you just hang it, then it's almost exactly, you are just kind of creating this one. So this is when you want to use simply, simple plane and wires. 